Welcome to Philos Academy. Today, I'll show you how to calculate your accumulated weighted average, that's the CWA. So kindly pay attention and also, if you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more important videos from us. Okay. Actually, we teach statistics, Excel, uh, algebra, business mathematics, financial math and the likes. Okay, and many more. So, thank you. Now, let's assume this, uh, these are the courses you are reading for the first year's first semester, okay? Then, traditional technology and energy for development, one for example, cell structure, three, business mathematics, three, introduction to computers, two, elements of economics, three, com skills, two, statistical method, one, two, and then fundamentals of programming, three, okay? So, to calculate your CWA, this is how it goes. Now, let's say, after your mid sem and the end of sem, everything put together, you know, mid sem, I mean in KNUST, mid sem is 30 and then maybe other things could contribute to the 30. Yeah, let me say mid sem is 30 and the end of sem is 70. So everything put together, let's say you ended up getting 90% in traditional technology, uh, 68 in self structure, 79 in business mass, uh, 65 in, in computers, and then 61 in economics, 72 in Com skills, 75 in statistics, and 63 in programming. Okay, now to calculate your weighted average for that semester, you are going to take your credit hour for each course times the mark, everything put together. Okay, so something like sigma cm that's credit times mark. Okay, just like how you say sigma fx. Okay, so credit hour times the mark for each. Okay. All divided by total credit hours. So it's like sigma fx over sigma f, something like that. So this is sigma cm over sigma c. That's sum of credit hours times each mark divided by total credit hours, something like that. Okay. So if you put everything together, you are going to get your total point, okay, total weighted point to be 1327, and then total credit hours is 19. I follow you. So when you put it together, you get 69. When you calculate this, you get 69.84. Uh, so this is your weighted average for. Let me say, let me put my, let me use myself as an example. Let me say coffee. So this is coffee's uh, level 100 semester one uh, uh, weighted average. Okay. So 69.84. Okay. So let's see how it goes. Let's see maybe the following semester how you be affected or how it goes. Okay. So. Now, let's say the following semester, now those of you who statistics, when you are doing measures of central tendency, location, and where have you, you are going to learn about the mean, medium, mode, standard deviation, and the likes. There too, you will learn the weighted average, how to calculate weighted average, and this is what they use for the CWA. Okay. Yeah. So, let's say the second semester, you are doing legal system in Ghana, self structure, business mass, uh, sorry, business statistics, introduction to computers, to elements of economics, to Com skills 2, statistical method 2, and algebra. Okay, so and these are the credit hours. And it's also totally 19. Don't expect every semester's credit hour to be the same. Okay, some can be different. Okay, yeah. So, let's say for the new semester, you get 73 in legal system, 72 in self structure, 85 in business statistics, 68 in computers, and 78 in economics. 74 in com skills and then 81 in statistical method and then algebra 83. Now you see that Kofi has tried as much as possible to get better marks than the previous marks. So let's see how it will affect him. Now for the new semester, okay, the weighted average for the new semester will be 77.53. The reason is the total mark. The total point for the new semester will now be 1473. Okay, divided by total credit is 19. So, meaning for the new semester, he has gotten 77.53. Okay, but this is not what we they are going to record as your CWA. This is just for that particular semester, semester two. Okay, so for your CWA, this is how it is done your total point for the previous semester, okay, which was 1000. 327 plus 
your current point for the new semester that's 1473 okay divided by the total credit hours for the previous semester which was 19 plus the current semester which is 19 if the current semester is 20 you say plus 20 you get it so when you put this on your calculator 1327 plus 1473 divided by 19 plus 19 you get 2800 divided by 38 and that gives you what 73.68 so you see that for this semester two the weighted average for the semester is 77.53 but that won't be your cwa no 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 this will be your cwa that's why we call it cumulated okay yeah this one this is how it will be so it's very important to know this now so you have to try as much as possible if you want to increase your cwa make sure you get more points than you had in the previous semester like this same uh let's say this same you had 1473 so the following semester you should make sure you get more than that make sure you get like 1500 or 1600 for you to increase if you get less than this the following semester there's a possibility that you will decrease do you get it so be very very careful about that plan very well okay another way of calculating the cwa is or now if you can remember let me take my pen the previous semester the previous semester this was the weighted away for the previous semester last sem do you get it and this semester you happen to get 77.53 right so you have to find a difference okay the difference now when you find a difference since it is two semesters you divide it by two you are not in your third semester yet you are in two semesters you get it so you divide it by two the difference divided by two so what you get you add it to your previous semesters this was the previous semester right so you add what you get here to the previous semester okay now we are adding because oh i'm coming i'll tell you the reason why we are adding now you add it to it when you add it you get 73.685 you see that it's similar to this yeah when you approximate this it should be 73.69 but this is not really accurate this is more accurate because uh this there was an approximation somewhere here when you were finding this, there was an approximation, so it made this not be accurate. You get it? Yeah. So you see that it gets similar thing. Yeah. So these are the two ways you can cut. Now, I added over here because your current semester's WA, okay, weighted average, is greater than your previous semester's WA. That's why we are adding. I didn't mean that your current semester's wa is lesser than the previous semester's wa when you find the difference and divide by the number of semester you would have subtracted you won't add okay but for simplicity's sake okay you can ignore uh, this method okay you can ignore this method and use this method so to use this method let's say you enter your third semester as in year two semester one and then let's say you ended up getting uh 1600 so you just hit plus 1600 okay you add 1600 to it divided by okay so 1600 pardon me for my writing okay so 1006 1006 divided by then you add so if the credit hours for the current semester is let's say 21 you add plus 21 so you what you get to be your new cwa for that current semester if you enter another semester the total point you get add it again and divide it by then you add the total credit hours for the current semester so that's how you do it so you complete school I hope you get it so thank you for watching i advise you to always get about 50 percent in all courses no matter how difficult you think that course is try as much as possible 
to always be above 50 okay set that target that you don't no matter what happen you don't want to fall below 50 okay this is just a word of encouragement okay try work hard always be above 50 percent okay it's very important thank you for watching please do remember to uh subscribe to the channel so that you can get more important videos from us and use the notification button as well okay thank you